All right, let's move to our social relationships, in our feelings toward our neighbors, toward our friends, what's happening to man in those spheres. Well, in the first place, I would say our social relationships are relatively shallow. We are actually afraid to be intimate with people. Many people even with their wives and husbands. Somebody said, Jack, don't you believe in love? Everybody used that word. So I asked most people, do you like everything you've ever done in life? The answer is no. And sometimes you love yourself, sometimes more, sometimes less, sometimes what a dumb thing I did. You understand, love is a fluctuating thing. It's not fixed. You mentioned what we think about or what we talk about anyway on Sundays. What about man in relationship to his religion? Well, I think here we find the same phenomenon. We have a religious renaissance today in America, yes. as many people say. I would say this religious renaissance, 90% of it, is the greatest danger true religious experience has ever been confronted with. Why? Because uh, what is attempted in this so-called religious renaissance is kind of a mixture between uh, Dale Carnegie, how to win friends and be successful, and the norms of the Bible, of the Old and the New Testament, and in a kind of clever and sometimes not so clever way. People try to combine the two. Well, that is actually very much the contrary of the spirit of our true religious tradition. Who's this guy with a white collar that says, I now pronounce you man and wife? Where the hell did he come from? In the Bible it says, two people joined by love cannot be put asunder by anyone. This guy doesn't bring people together. He orders you together. And real love is not force. Real love is you being with the person you want to be with. It's hard for people to understand, but real love means that you've got hands. They're called extensional devices. You can pick up a bottle, turn it around, look at it. A dog can't do that, so he cocks his head this way and the other way when he sees something strange. So real love means extensionality. I hope my boyfriend loves me. That doesn't do anything to make him loving. It. It's your conduct and his values that determine who he picks. He thinks he picks the girl of his dreams, but he's been watching movies, reading novels, so he goes toward girls that look like what he believes is the right person. If they show a person with a crooked nose, mean, always mean, and the good-looking guy beats him up, the, the girls look for the good-looking guy. But that good-looking guy becomes a monster if she hates him. That face is no longer pleasant. Now, if you fall in love at 16, and then you fall in love again at 30, it's different than the kind of love you fell in love with at 16. At 40, you have a very different picture of what you want. So love is not a constant. The trouble with it is, in the future, now you can't help this, 
You will love anybody you meet. If you married a guy because he has seven qualities you love, and then you meet another guy with 40 qualities you love, you're going to love that person. You're going to get confused. What is, do I really love my husband or don't I? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. There's nothing wrong with them. They're reflecting their culture. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with anybody. I'm trying to tell you something else. We never make a mistake in our lives. When you don't know enough about human behavior, you go out with the wrong people and they hurt you. That's not a mistake. You're using the best tools you have. When you fall in love with the wrong girl or you fall in love with the wrong guy, your value systems become updated or you become bitter. So I'm never getting married, depending on your experience. So in the future, you will love anyone that's lovable. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's not a thing you can do about it. So if you really learn what the word love means, it means to be extensional to other people, to help, be friendly to other nations. If they lack resources, help them. Help them develop their resources. But if you keep things to yourself, you'll build hatred.